guys welcome back to my channel hey guys so i have this awesome twin flame pick a card reading four piles look at all these cards i mean they're massive very in-depth probably one of the most epic pick a cards you will ever see and there's activations that come with them self-care messages personal messages basically everything um, and there will be like meditations that go with each pile too and a meditation to do shortly before um, picking your piles. So yeah, here's pile number one. Here's pile number two. Here's pile number three and pile number four. We have amethyst, celestite, clear quartz, and Lemurian quartz. All right, I'll see you in the reading. Right, pile number four. Woo! You guys chose my huge Lemurian crystal. So this could be mean. This could mean that you guys are from Lemuria, or your twin flame is, or you both are, since you are both mere reflections of yourself. But this would be a great crystal for you guys to work with this month. Now, when you get Lemurians, you don't have to get huge ones. You can work with tiny ones or even smaller. Um, they have records on the sides of them right upon holding the crystal or receiving the records or even afterwards. Sometimes you get later aha moments and things like that. How I'm going to do your reading is I'm going to go into messages that your guides have for you personally. And then towards the end, I go into more of the love connection readings and messages that your twin flame has for you. Okay. And also their signs as well. So that's all coming here along with your activations towards the end. So these are messages that your higher self and your beings of light and your guides and your ancestors all have for you at this time before you get into alignment with this soulmate or twin flame relationship. It'll be very crucial for you to know. So let's go ahead and get started. Now these could also be messages that I'm hearing for this group specifically that your twin flame telepathically is trying to tell you. We have the meditation card, the light priestess card in the reverse. We have the light dancer. We have the spirit of spring in reverse, the returning home in the reverse, the full moon temple in the reverse. And we have the mountain goddess. Okay. So let's see. Meditation, so this is crucial for you guys. This brings you peace, relief, and sanctuary. It helps you get in alignment with your higher guides. So definitely meditate this month. I wanna let you know we do have the um, new moon coming, I believe either on the 12th or the 14th. We also have the solar eclipse coming on one of those days. And on the 21st of this month, we have a huge planetary alignment where all plants are in line that hasn't happened for 6,000 years. And it's gonna anchor in a lot of lights. It's gonna anchor in a lot of DNA upgrades and higher conscious awarenesses and a lot of spontaneous awakenings. So if you guys have been experiencing any kinds of feelings now, like ascension symptoms, being tired, um, trying to figure out a lot of things. That's all gonna come into alignment, but you guys are integrating a lot, so it is important to meditate at this time and take it easy on yourselves. You guys are light priestesses, and because this is in the reverse, you aren't believing it. You have a lot of galactic wisdom, and they're wanting you to do some sort of cosmic ritual. So whether that is getting outside in the night sky, even if it's cold where you're at, just for a minute to stargaze and channel in the energies from your beings of light and your star systems that you connect with or planets that you connect with, it'd be very beneficial to wish upon some stars is what I'm hearing because they want to provide these wishes to you, but you need to ask for them. This would be a great cosmic ritual for you to do. Also, you could do cosmic rituals with the solar eclipse, with the new moon that's coming, and the planetary alignments on the 21st. So that would be, I believe, the 12th, the 14th, and the 21st. I'm also hearing like the 17th is going to be a really big day. I also heard that the 9th was a big day as well light dancer, um, which we already passed the ninth, but yeah. 
light dancer. This is illumination. This is your radiant self and this is your shining soul. So you're really coming into your own. You're really shining out your light. You're really channeling from the stars and following your inner intuition and your inner guidance towards your spirituality, towards your flame, towards your purpose. And maybe you dance. Maybe you do light language. Maybe you do light language dancing. Maybe it's just asking you to get up and dance more and to shine yourself and your light out that way or either to people or to, to your Yourself, but I think you're going to inspire a lot of people by doing what you love to do. And I feel like dancing with the light, however that resonates with you, is something that's very beneficial for you this month. We have uh, Spirit of Spring in the Reverse. This is freedom. This is action. This is power. This is understanding the power that you hold. This is understanding that we're all sovereign beings of freedom. And this is taking action towards that freedom and taking action towards shining out your power right to the world showing how powerful you are taking action towards new earth nurturing the earth nurturing all the living beings on the earth including the animals the plants all of it um, really voicing your truth working from your heart your heart chakra and third eye are very emphasized here in this card so connecting with both those chakras this month will be very beneficial we have returning home in the reverse you doubt this but you are this is a transition. This is life between lifetimes, and this is loving welcome. So a lot of loving light is coming in. This is a huge transition time for us all, and this is the life between all lifetimes, the age of Aquarius, the age of awakening. The golden dawn is upon us. The golden the golden age is upon us, right? We're welcoming this heaven on earth, and it's a really beautiful time. New earth is upon us, right? We have the full moon temple. This remember this card reminds me of Atlantis and Lemuria. And you did get the Lemurian crystal. So I am confirming that you've had past lifetimes in either Atlantis or Lemuria or both. And so has your flame. And this is why you guys are so connected here. You share these past lifetimes. This full moon temple is asking you to celebrate the new moon also. Um, this is celebration. This is peak. This is transcendent moment. So this is a huge precipice. Like we're getting to the top of our awareness and we're about to just see what's about to unfold. This is the peak of the excitement, right? The peak of the light coming in. So yes, really, really beautiful. We have the mountain goddess. Wow, you probably connect with mountains a lot. Um, this is high vibration. This is also mindfulness and the power of the mind. Yeah, you got two power cards and the high priestess. So you're very, you're a goddess, you're a priestess, you're a god, you're a priest, depending on whether you're divine feminine, divine masculine, but you both are. You both are this. Uh, you're only separated by sex here on the 3D plane. In the higher dimensional realms, you are one, one soul. Two pieces of a soul fragmented here in the higher timelines, one soul. But you're all this high vibration. And it's asking you to keep this mindfulness when it comes to the power that you hold, right? And using your power in a, in a very loving and um, light way to share this with the world. You're not alone. Let's see what all these messages say. Lost lands, yeah, Lemuria, Atlantis. Okay, so you're not alone in the reverse. This is laying, you know, um, it's an okay time to um, do some self-isolation, but it's also time to connect with yourself, connect with your flame, your flame telepathically. And also physical connection could be important too. So however it resonates, if you feel like you want to be isolated, be isolated. But if you're feeling you need physical connection, make sure you're reaching out to your family and your friends and your flame, um, calling in your soul tribe, your community, and really connecting, even if it's just energetically. That's very powerful, right? Even if it's telepathically, even if it's, if it's through bilocation, it's very powerful. You can look up how to bilocate on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be important for you to really connect with yourself, to self-reflect. Your life is a canvas in the reverse. So this you could be an artist. Um, this is about manifesting, manifestation, and taking creative accountability. So what is it that you want to create that you haven't been creating or you haven't been working on? And because this is in the reverse, this is asking you to anchor those higher dimensional ideas, thoughts, aha moments, imaginatory things, and anchor them onto earth. This helps bring about new earth. And this helps you create abundance for yourself as well. And this helps strengthen your manifestation abilities. So share your art. Share your passions with the world. This is highly important for you this month. Pile number four. 
We have Child of the Cosmos. So this is letting me know you definitely are starseed. Definitely a child of the cosmos. If you were ever wondering what kind of starseed origins you were from or star systems, or you were, wanted some direction towards your purpose, your mission, I do offer starseed origins readings. I've done hundreds of them, all positive feedback. They're really great for activating your blueprint, getting you right on track to where you want to be going and helping you get in touch with your origins really helps you to better understand your soul. It unlocks your blueprints and it helps you to get into alignment with what it is that you want to be doing while you're here on earth. So I highly recommend that if you're interested, the link will be down below under my Etsy shop. And if you're drawn to something else, always trust your intuition too. Um, child of the cosmos, letting you know that you are a star seed. You are a child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Really trusting yourself, your inner wisdom, because this intelligence lies within you. Highly important. And you have this ancient wisdom from these lost lands as well, such as Lemuria, such as Atlantis. You may have not believed it in the past, but you're now you're understanding it better. Now you're understanding, oh, this is why I have these flashbacks. This is why I have this knowledge. This is why I have these memories. It's from these lost lands. So these are your soul memories. These are your gifts. And you've done this before. You've done this before, which is why you're so good at these certain things, right? So start implementing them here on Earth. There's a great gathering happening, whether you believe it or not. You're coming into alignment with your soul tribe. It's all coming together, these intuitive hits, your soul tribe. You may be gathering even um, during dream time in the astral, or you guys could be bilocating, or you could just even be meeting here in the physical or be talking in the physical, but you're all coming together. We're all coming together. Even if you doubt it, this is what we're coming into. It's all coming together. These are all your intuitive hits are right on track and you're coming in alignment with your soul tribe. Beautiful card. You are a pillar of light, pillar of light here to anchor the light into the earth. Your vibration is rising, it says. You are the oracle. So you're very, very psychic. You're coming into these psychic gifts. You're here to anchor the light into the earth So and on the planet. You may even work with ley lines. This could be something that you're going to be doing too. Spreading this crystalline light into the ley lines of the earth and just healing the planet even physically. You're already doing it, it says. Stop overthinking because this is in the reverse. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. All right, you're on the right path. You're already doing it, it says. You may be consciously aware or not, but you might be consciously aware now because you're being told you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Yes. So let's pull this next set of cards here. Door to spirit, all tied up. Strategy, action, the thinking woman, spark, deep freeze, intention, Stuck in the Mud, Wizard of Awareness, and One Ring Circus. Wow. Yeah, so lots of energies. Um, yeah, lots of like racing thoughts I'm feeling. Like lots of confusion and lots of racing thoughts. But your door to spirit is opening whether you believe it or not. Um, this is in the reverse because you're not believing it. But the spirit is coming in and opening the door for you. You may not understand this or recognize this because you do feel all tied up, but I'm letting you know here, there's 32, which adds up to five, and there's 23, which adds up to five, which is master number 55, which is all about change. Five has everything to do with change. Google master number 55 and just see what messages resonate with you within that number because there's messages for you. So you feel all tied up. You feel stuck, but the door to spirit is literally open to you and they want you to channel in messages from your beings of light that you may have been overlooking or you may have not been listening and you're setting your own strategy. They're giving you a strategy plan, an action plan, okay? They're giving you some strategy here, some sort of action plan towards either healing your shadow self, towards channeling more, towards traveling, towards um, your mission, your purpose, your twin. They're giving you some sort of action and strategy plan, but you really need to set, sit with a pen and paper and channel from your guides and see what messages are provided for you and write them down no matter how silly they are because they're definitely pieces of the puzzle for you so you're yeah you're a thinking woman you're very intelligent you're studying a lot about ancient history um, about future history about star seeds about spirituality about light work about your mission um you're very intelligent you may just like reading you know but you overthink sometimes and you need to get your thinking back into order stop doubting yourself um get a hold on your thoughts so they're not racing 
yeah, with this deep freeze card in the reverse, it's asking to take a time out for yourself and just get a strategy plan going, channel in, and um, get your intentions, set your intentions so they're clear. Because you may be feeling all tied up and like a, you're stuck in the mud, but they want you to become this wizard of awareness to where you're observing every single thought and then correcting the ones that aren't serving you. So that way your mind is not a one ring circus. And then that way you can shine. Okay. And getting in touch with music, um, you may play an instrument, you may just really love music, or you like listening to higher um, frequency hertz music. Um, something here about what lights you up, what really you know, brightens you up. I feel like a lot of artists are listening or tuned into this specific pile. Um, getting back in touch with the things that you're passionate about that light you up will really, really, really benefit you. Will really benefit you this month. And that will help you to, to get um, your thoughts back in balance. It'll just help you stay level headed, level minded. Watch your thoughts, yeah, in the reverse. You're being helped and self forgiveness. Treasure Island, co-create, a leg up, flexible, time for a nap. Okay, so we have watch your thoughts in the reverse like I was just talking about. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So if you're starting to fear something, think about excitement or think about something that you love to do. This will help to switch that, to correct that. You are being helped, even though you don't believe it or maybe you doubt it. You are being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. So yeah, believing it before you see it, knowing that you're protected, you're being guided, you're being helped, and behind the scenes. They're helping you with yourself and your twin flame is what I'm literally being told right now. We have self-forgiveness in the reverse. So it's asking you to really forgive yourself, okay? You need to let go of old guilt. You need to remember that you're God's perfect child. Just those words in and of himself will be super healing for you to hear. You are a treasure island. You are a treasure chest, okay? So you're, you're, you know, maybe you've overlooked this or maybe you've doubted yourself because you weren't seeing your worth, but you are coming into understanding that you are literally a treasure to be had, to be held in opening up your gifts, right? from your soul blueprint to show out into the world because you're starting to honor this and you're starting to understand, I really am a treasure to be held. I really am. And I do see you starting to co-create. This is in the reverse as well, but I do see you with the wisdom that you hold, you or and your twin together or just you and your friends, your spiritual community, you're gonna be co-creating something very, very special. And this is gonna help give you a leg up in the situation so that way you can be more flexible okay but before you go you know co-creating and doing all this this uh, uh manifestation work and co-creation work they want you to take a nap because we have time for a nap in the reverse so really make sure you're getting as much sleep as possible it may be kind of difficult with the solar energies the moon energies like you know all the cosmic stuff that's going on but if you can get as much rest as possible this will be crucial for you this month and then from there you'll have a clear head and the intentions on what you want to create with others and share those gifts out but you need to take a rest first so there's going to be dragons that they're going to want you to work with this month. And the one that I got for you um, is the golden solar dragon. So lots of anchoring in the sun's energies. Um, this helps you stand in your masculine power and wisdom. Okay, so even if you're feminine, you have a masculine assertiveness to you. And you're going to be anchoring in this power of showing your power and not being afraid of it really honing this in and showing the world, here's me, here I am, right? This is let your, D this says, let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated. Become an inspired leader. So this is really asking you to step up to your leadership goals um, and be the leader that you wish you already had for the world. You're a love warrior. You're here to show the way and allow these DNA integrations and light codes to be implemented into you, okay? Allow your body to recoup, rest, regenerate, and then boom, you're ready for your mission, okay? Yeah, you need to come into balance first because we have the balanced card in the reverse, 
Ten of Winter, Nine of Summer, King of Summer. Lots of reversals, but it's okay. They're not always bad, and we're going to read them. This is a change of balance coming in, even if you doubt it, okay? Take everyone's input into consideration, okay? Merge viewpoints to create a better solution, Take your time. There's no need to rush. So I see you, you know, really taking your time, getting in balance, taking multiple view viewpoints, and then like making your own cocktail of your own mission and what you want to provide to the earth. So it's a beautiful change of balance coming in with that and balancing ideas as well and merging them together as one. Ten of winter, we have the resolution of difficulties. All weight is being lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. So yeah, a lot of you are walking away from relationships that were not serving you. A lot of you are walking away from codependent energies, walking into your sovereignty, becoming an independent being, being the leader of your own business, doing all this work and really shining your light down from the planet. So you're like leaving this winter and going into your own summer. And a lot of difficulties are resolving themselves and a lot of weights are being lifted off your shoulders and you're the ones doing it. So I give you props to that. Even though you may doubt this this is what's coming in for you and call in your guides whenever you're feeling unsure but just know that it is and that's the message your spirit guides want you to hear at this time we have nine of summer in the reverse wishes come true see dreams fulfilled a magical time of life i cannot make this up you guys this is in the reverse, you're doubting magic, you're doubting wishes. Um, it's letting you know you need to make those wishes, like I said from the beginning of this video, and watch them come true. Your dreams are about to be fulfilled. And this is a magic time of your life, okay? Even if you're doubting it. And then we, oh, king of summer in the reverse, so you're doubting this too. A romantic partner you can trust. It's all here in the cards. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. And getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Yeah, co-creating a project, co-creating something beautiful. But this romantic partner you can trust. You don't have to doubt this. You can trust this one. It's saying it right here for you. Your self-care cards that they want you to do this month is connect with your ancestors. So there's ancestral healing that needs to be done. That's why this is in the reverse. They want you to sync with the moon. Oh my God, I cannot make this up. Sync with the moon. They want you to do a health checkup. So um, even if that means FaceTiming your doctor, do some sort of health checkup. It's very important. Spend a lot of time alone. We have alone time. Get lots of rest again. Two different decks, lots of rest, and flow like the water flow like the water so again i'll tell you connect with your ancestors heal any past hurts there's a, a hindu ritual called called tarpanam i'll link the information about it below and this would be very advisable for you guys to do sync with the moon get a health checkup spend some time alone get your rest and flow like the water i'm going to pull your tarot cards and see what they have to tell you. Yeah, rest being reiterated here. We have King of Swords, make love, not war. Six of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. The Lovers. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys, you have the Lovers card. And the make love, not war. Oh, my God. So, yeah. <clears throat> you guys are twin flames we have king of swords so he's your your divine masculine he's learning to cut through the crap right now like he's coming into his own divine power um he's healing a lot of wounds or you could be but he's seeing the potential abundance that's there he's seeing the potential in the relationship there's a lot of stuff that he needs to heal that's like he needs to get rid of a lot of lower frequency thoughts so he can align to the peace of new earth, the peace of love and harmony come into balance. But you guys are twin flames. It's just either you or them have a lot of healing to do. And I feel like it's the both of you. But it's okay because once you get through this, there's so much abundance. There's so much peace. There's so much love and alignment that you guys are on the same page about. And this is divine. You guys, this is so divine. Transformation to the 10th degree. 
Okay, so we have emerald, we have lapis lazuli, we have sapphire, we have aphylite, we have azurite, we have dolomite, we have topaz, we have titanium rainbow quartz. So these are the crystals that they'll want you to work with this month, and they come with messages as well. So emerald would be a great crystal for you to work with. This is ceremonies and celebrations. It's, it's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Okay, exciting times coming. Lapis lazuli, this is great for the throat chakra, communicating your authentic authenticity and truth. So this is my lapis lazuli here. This is life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. You hear that, guys? Sapphire. Easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. So be gentle with yourself. Take a gentle approach. Dolomite. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. So really stay positive here. Topaz. Forgiveness heals. Again, forgiveness. Time to re time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and your happiness. So let go of this anger, right? You don't need to hold on to this any longer. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Let go of that and release that repressed anger so that way you can welcome in better health and happiness into your life. Epiphylite. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. And remember, we had that doorway of spirit card that was open, but you were doubting it. It's because you're doing the work and it's opening doors and opportunities and help and you're letting yourself receive, which is really, really important too. We have Azurite, which has to do with deep emotional healing. Yeah, seems to be across the board. Everyone is healing here. Both your divine feminines and your divine masculines are doing deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to vote time and energy towards, towards therapeutic care. Okay, beautiful. And then we have Titanium Rainbow Quartz. So this is understanding how multifaceted you are, your multidimensionality. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. Oh my God. So many layers to this person. This person is very multidimensional, many dimensions and to the situation or person you're asking about. Okay, so this is very spiritual. This is very divine, very higher dimensional, very multidimensional. So your Raphael cards are organic food, easy does it, inner authority, a good night's sleep again. I cannot make this up. You got the sleep card three times within three different decks and laughter is the best medicine. So organic foods. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. Beautiful. I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of greens, you know, throughout these readings. Like a lot of people are eating more spinach, um, more kale, things like that. Easy does it. This is, oh, this is holding your inner child. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me detach, retreat, and let go so that healing can occur. So yeah, a lot of you need to let go, um, rest up, heal, take time for you. So you can really gauge your inner authority here. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. This is beautiful, pile number four. Oh my God, you guys are doing doing it all. Good night, sleep. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me relax and sleep deeply for I know that you are guiding, healing, and protecting me while I rest. And laughter is the best medicine. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. Detaching, detaching. Love it. We have half faith in the reverse. Trust your faith in this situation. Express love through gifts. So this person might like receiving gifts or you might like giving gifts. So this is the time for giving, right? And this could be not just physical gifts, but this could also be soul gifts, right? Energetic gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So it's like the small things, you know? 
We have like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Love that. And we have be willing to express love in the reverse, okay? So express love to receive love again. So maybe you guys need to just express yourselves through more loving actions, words, things like that in order to receive more of it. And to yourselves as well. This isn't just your twin flame. This is to your guides as well. Showing gratuity to them. Showing gratuity to yourself. Okay. Explore your options. So this is the Archangel deck. So dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone in, um, involved. So I feel like there was some sort of past... Um, thing that you went through maybe with your childhood too um, that you're going to be healing here so use your imagination and you'll see the answer this is in the reverse this is dear god thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways i gratefully and uh hear the church bells there's a car going by so you probably can't I hear them. <laughs> I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help and describe the situation. Okay. So use your imagination. You'll see the answer. You tap into your imagination more. Sense of humor. Okay. Thank you for helping me to see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So you're getting a switch on perspectives of maybe past hurts or things you went through. And it's really helping you to step into this new chapter of how you are going to be energetically. Energy healing work. Yes. In the reverse. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. So I really do feel like you're going to be doing a lot of um, sessions with a healer or you're going to be doing your own sessions for others or maybe you're going to be doing both. First, you're going to get healing and then you're going to want to provide healing to others. So take it how it resonates. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation in the reverse. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with and um, describe the situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. And look at your third eye in your crown. It is lit up. Like you're coming into remembrance of a lot of past life things too. We have innocence in the reverse. Yep. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. Yeah, you're connecting back to your inner child and you're taking that viewpoint of innocence and you're remembering what it's like to be that way before the distortions and, and all the stuff was thrown at you. Write about your thoughts and feelings. This is important. You're going to be asked to journal here. Remember we had the strategy card? I believe that was for you. Yeah, it's going to ask you to write down some things and to journal. So write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. Yeah, so you're going to be writing down things you want to manifest as well. It will be highly important, especially with the new moon. Um and creative ideas and your wisdom so that way you can share it with the world and shield yourself in the reverse it's asking you to shield yourself your energy for now while you do this healing so archangel michael i ask you to protect me my loved ones my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield surround us in your purple light which allows only pure love to penetrate please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe name your specific person or situations Okay, so let's get into your activations. 
Now, this deck of cards is by Wizard Azanon. He has his own YouTube channel. I will link it down below. And each card has a little mini activation that coincides with it in a video that you can watch and receive the DNA upgrades. So it's really awesome. Now, not all the cards have activations attached to them, but most of them do. And so these will be the ones that you guys are needing pile number four for this month that you can watch on your own time. And like I said, his um, channel will be link it, linked in the description box below so you can go watch those. So I will show you what they are here in just a second. So we have Chamber of Teleportation. So you guys may be experience, ex, experiencing or experimenting with teleportation this month. Um, this is Journey, Exchange, Transparency. Yeah, exchanging gifts, and I think you might be teleporting, which is pretty cool. So this activation is the Chamber of Teleportation. Then we have Chamber of Illumination. So this is like getting new perspectives, ideals, and beliefs on a certain situation, person, place, or thing. We have the Crystal Capacitor. This is storage. This is time released. This is focused for. So remember I said storage on your crystals. There are storage devices of information. Storage and time released. So yes, you're going to be receiving a lot of of information we have temple of elevated senses so tapping into your senses this is impeccability when it comes to sensing things this is a huge advancement and loftiness this is awesome pleiadian stargate so the pleiadians are really working closely with you guys these months this they're working really closely with you guys this month so Connect with the Palladian, see what comes through. They're beautiful beings of light. I'm part Palladian too. The Palladian Stargate, this is freedom. This is sensitivity. This is beauty and sensuality. So the Palladian Stargate. Then we have Chamber of Incantation. Ooh, so this is invocation, right? Manifestation. This is also spellcraft. This is summoning and ceremony. Oh so much in this one activation that's the chamber of incantation and then we have temple of meditation and we had the meditating card at the beginning for you guys this is communion communing with your guides your ancestors your spirits this is also contemplation and this is your higher mind so again this is temple of meditation now we're going to get into your romance angels cards okay so we have pay attention to the red flags in the reverse this says the signs are cautioning you so really pay attention to the signs around you when it comes to the person that you're leaving or maybe the person that's trying to get in touch with you because there could be some deception here and this doesn't have to be just the twin flame like this could be anyone around you um, i'm feeling like there's some sort of drama or something but um don't worry it will be resolved we have deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so ask if this could be you or this could be them and then communicate that with them right like let them know how you're feeling communication is key this is a forgiving and learning process here as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay sexual magic tarot let's see we have temperance so yeah getting in balance with your emotions your thoughts the hermit yeah so taking time for you um they may be taking time for them you may be doing it both of you but you're creating a game plan together we have the two of wands yeah so you guys are going to meet up you're going to communicate you're going to exchange thoughts ideas emotions it's it's going to grow it's going to grow but you need to get over little dramas and things like that tit for tat, tat that kind of thing messages that your twin flame has for you Cupid shot his arrow. Cupid shot his arrow. Dang. A once in a lifetime love, even if you're not believing it. You guys just have to get past deceptions and little hurts that you've been through. But this is a once in a lifetime love. They can't think straight. They can't think straight or you can't think straight. They may be feeling lost because it's so much. They know we can't rush it. They know, you, they, know they can't rush it. It's not a game to them or it's not a game to you. Every time a song plays, they think of you. 
misuse of trust. So this could be where that deception came in. Maybe someone just overstepped their boundaries or did something untrustworthy. So that needs to be forgiven and healed. You guys need to move past this barrier. We need time apart. So you guys could be taking some time apart to both do your healing. They know from the time they saw you because you've had past lifetimes together. And like I said, I think these were implemented in Lemuria or Atlantis. Okay, and then two more love messages. I knew from the time I saw you. Again, reiterated here twice. So this could be both of you both knew right when you saw each other. And um, yeah, he can't think straight, you can't think straight, and this person can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. But it's something that can't be rushed. Both of you could be feeling lost, need some time apart to heal, but you both know, you know, that this is a once in a lifetime thing, that this is serious, and this is from a past life, and this could be something that needs healed before you move into the, your union. Okay, and then I'm going, I kind of did yours a little bit backwards, but that's okay. Those messages wanted to be heard right away, so I'm glad I shared them. And we're going to get into the signs that this person could be. So we have number 11, Aquarius, which is air. Ooh, that one really was strong. We have Virgo, which is earth. We have Gemini, which is air. We have Sagittarius, which is fire. We have Cancer, which is water. We have Scorpio, which is water. We have another Gemini, which is air. We have Libra, which is air. And we have Pisces, which is water. So again, I'll tell you, we have Aquarius, we have Virgo, we have Libra. We have two Geminis. We have Sagittarius, we have Cancer, we have Scorpio, we have Pisces. The numbers that we have here, if they're significant to you, are 11, which is the master manifester number and the twin flame number, the mirror number, the self reflector. We have uh, six, we have seven, we have master number 33 here, three and three, so that may be significant to you. The 33rd degree, so a very higher consciousness, higher dimensional relationship. We also have nine, which breaks down to three, three, three. Um, we have eight, we have, so infinity, infinite, and we have four. So however those numbers resonate for you guys. And again, they said it's important you work with Lapis, Lapis Lazuli and Lemurians this month. will be very beneficial for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in, watching. Let me know how this reading resonated for you guys in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it resonated. Definitely give us a like. Please do consider subscribing as I will be making more videos like this. And I've been called to really step up and make more love readings. If you're interested in a personal love reading, that information will be listed in the description box below under my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and receiving all the messages. I love you so much pile number four and until next time i'll talk to you soon bye guys <laughs>